Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to use the multiple record configuration on the TXT export on Chronoscan. As you can see on our batch here, we have several invoice documents and statement documents. On the statement documents, we have a grid that we want to capture, but on the invoice documents, we do not want any grid captured. We are going to create a multiple record export configuration, so we don't have the grid exported on the invoice files and have the grid exported on the statement files. As you can see here, we have a statement field, and we are going to use that field to tell Chronoscan whether we have a statement or not. On the onValidate code, you can see we have some code that will test for the existence of the statement word on the type field. If we have statement on the type field, we are going to have the value of the statement field set to true. And when we don't, I'm just going to set the default value for the field to false. Now we are going to reset and reprocess all the documents. And as you can see, when it's an invoice, we have false. And when it's a statement, we have true. Now let's jump into the export configuration. We are going to add a TXT report into the file system. And in here, we are going to create our two record configurations. The default one is going to be for invoices where we don't want any grid information. So I'm just going to go down here and turn off grid export data. And we also don't need the statement field to be exported. We only need type and invoice total. And then we are going to click on the add record configuration button. And you'll see here a new record configuration available to edit. On the field condition for the field, I will add the statement field. And on the condition for the value, I will add true. So every time the field statement on the document is set to true, Chronoscan is going to use this specific record configuration to export our TXT file. Again, I will turn off the document type field and the statement field. And finally, I will add my grid configuration. Now, when we click OK, we can set up our file system export. And after saving, we can actually go and export our TXT documents. As we can see on the exported file, we have our three invoices here, only with the fields we selected, and then all of our statements here with all the respective line items. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.